see i was electrical electronics engineer but i didn't love that like i did my two three internships but i didn't want to do work in that kind of environment i wanted to go into sales you cannot shift and every uh, five years you can't say that okay this is something that i don't like and i ne i need to switch again i think uh, the market right now is more of skill oriented so i can say if someone wants to change his or her career into certain profile the only thing which will help them is actually learn those skills hi my name is ashutosh tyagi i am from gazebad i did my schooling from bps indrapuram and uh, then i pursued my engineering as an electrical electronics engineer from srm chennai so hi i am himanshu shekhar i'm from darbhanga bihar i have done my undergraduate in electronics and instrumentation there after i joined a, a industrial automation company there i was a dcs engineer i used to design logic and sequences for various gas plants and power plants mba was always a decision because i was into sales and marketing so i was already you know playing with numbers and was I, i wanted to get into the business aspect of things my decision can you know implement into a kind of a business or something like that so that's why mba was always a decision for me while working as well while looking for the execution of projects mainly i was just executing the projects i wanted to get a holistic or overall view of how project execution works upon so i took my first step towards uh, mba program that i thought that mba is something that uh, is going to help me uh, move further in the same path that i wanted to so i came to great lakes over here and i am trying to learn more about the industrial aspect industrial feel like what is happening and what are the trends that are happening in the industries so that i could go out of it and get a proper idea of everything execution from execution to a decision making level see i was an electrical electronics engineer but i didn't love that like i did my two three internships but i didn't want to do work in that kind of environment i wanted to go into sales then uh, from extra marks i got to know obviously working byju's was a better brand so i shifted to byju's like that was the plan initially that time then in byju's also i was working continuously but i was in the front end the plan was like till what time i can do it sales is a kind of an aggressive environment so i thought like till what time i wanted to get into business side so that my decisions could make some impact in the company so that's why i shifted from there i wanted to you know pursue something so that uh, i'm changing this environment i what you can say i got saturated at that point of time with experience of uh, around 3 years that i have in my field i thought that rather than i don't have to learn everything from basics because in a 2 year program it is more for someone who has a lesser bit of experience in dealing with the clients or doing any of the projects or any other thing i have 3 years of experience i know the intricacies that we have while uh, uh, executing a project i know the basic idea that finances are also important i don't know how much for that only i am uh, like i am doing mba but i know that it is important it is there i know that operations is also there i know that marketing is also there so i have a basic level idea of these things to enhance on that i selected one year course and again i am at that point of my life because i can't give more two years to uh, doing something and in the two year program we have uh, industrial uh, internship programs which i feel that i have already done so that internship is of 3 years rather than 3 uh, months that we'll be doing in a 2 year program so i felt that one year program is much better for me at this particular stage i was working for 2 and a half years uh, in edtech industry in sales and marketing so i got to know how to meet clients what all expectation they have but uh, my thought process was like one year mba could give me the right skills what i need and these skills was necessary to apply in the market again so one year mba was so that my faculty my professors everything can teach me and then i can apply those skills at that point of time because i thought like if my working continued it could again benefit me only after my graduation i took a role which was relevant to what i have done in my graduation and there i got to know that i am still lagging behind in the things that if i want to proceed further in future there are still things which i have to do and then i came over here it was not pre decided that what i am going to do or what particular specialization also i am going to take that was not pre decided i i came here with an open mind that whichever things that i like or whichever field that i like i am going to incline myself towards that and what are the industrial requirements are there i am going to incline myself towards that and while this whole process was running around in the back of my head i got to know about consulting roles so i researched about consulting i talked with my various alumni and they told me that what is their work life or what is their job description 
and they defined in in a way that I actually liked. I thought that this is something that I can do in future, and this is something that I'll be interested in doing in future. Marketing was always a plan, and uh, I was into sales and marketing again. So, uh, working there also kind of you know gave me an interest there in this field, and I was searching for the MBA courses and everything. Like I saw certain courses which was here for regarding marketing only. So after coming here, then I met people and got to know the bigger aspect, the, the bigger picture basically. That these are the career that you can have in marketing. It's not only like a, you know, uh, the same thing what I was you, I used to do. Then uh, we got an opportunity over here in which there was a profile for marketing consultant, and so I had applied for the same and like luckily it had worked out for me, and I got into uh, Deloitte as an AMC consultant. in the interview process what we had so we had the first round as technical and te uh, technical come hr process so in that uh, my whole work experience was seen uh, seen through and what i have done and there only these parts at industry 4.0 or how the industry is moving forward that came up because i have also worked in an automation background but not uh, related to a particular client or how they are solving their particular issues or problems so that came across my work experience also it uh, aligned towards my work experience the job description that they have given that aligned towards my uh, experience that i had in past and then further interview uh, further interview was a partner interview where my idea about what is implementing today and what you can see in future that on a bigger picture if the same industry moves forward how that industry is going to cope up with so that was taken through so that's how the whole interview process aligned towards my work experience and what i knew or what i gained out of mba over here so uh, we got to know deloitte was our, uh, like uh, one of the first recruiters only major part was the cv shortlisting part they had uh, shortlisted very minimal cvs uh, for my profile basically after that cv shortlisting there were certain rounds there were three rounds there so first round was a case study round in which we had to solve a case study and i had met uh, their national head she really liked my part how i uh, solved the case study and i connected the profile with the case study again and uh, second uh, part was uh, the technical interview technical interview they wanted to uh, understand what was my past experience what i hold and how it can benefit the same thing and finally they gave me an offer now the difficult part was uh, understanding the profile it was more connected like amc was a new profile and it is on the digital side main thing is what i want to talk in an interview for that i sh i should have some content so i had gone through a lot of articles and there was a very limited time like we got an opportunity i got to know that i was shortlisted and next day it was around evening 7 and next day morning at 9 o'clock i have my interview i had very limited time in limited time so i align my plan and first thing was i got to know what are the current trends in which deloitte is actually investing so that i have some content and i'm confident in the interview as well because i think in an interview they the confidence is one thing which really helps and that confidence can only come if you have something to speak the courses over here have various case studies that we uh, go through through our assignments and through our projects so these case studies actually tell you to identify the problem that uh, that in the case is there so that is how it is going to relate to a consulting firm as once a client hires you so they do not know exactly what the problems are as a client and as a consultant that your role is to identify that particular problem so this problem identification and solving these problems come from through various case studies that you solve even in the finance uh, we have in marketing we have through business consulting we have various real life case studies that are there so you get the idea of the industry movement also so uh, coming here like we have courses such as digital strategies where we are uh, basically learning for all the industries so uh, if i can say consulting is a, a field where i should know of all the industry bit uh, at least something so this course will really help secondly uh, we have uh, secondary courses like i am also doing like for project management is there google offers project management which basically give me an enhancement of like uh, what will happen in the industry how should i manage certain things my advice to people who are stuck on in these roles or they want to change uh, they want a career switch will be that first of all identify what exactly you want to do what you see yourself doing after 5 or 6 years and what things excites them the most because every now and then you cannot shift and every 5 uh, years you can't say that okay this is something that i don't like and i ne i need to switch again so think about what you are interested in think about how the industry is moving because that is also very important 
and never go for public opinions. Think and concentrate on what you want to do and go for it. I think uh, the market right now is more of skill oriented. So I can say if someone wants to change his or her career into a certain profile, the only thing which will help them is actually learn those skills. And these skills we can learn through uh, obviously the faculty members. And the biggest advantage that we have over here is peers. Everyone comes from a working environment. They have their own experiences and they can share. And eventually you are here to learn as well. You have to be open-minded in all terms. And this really helps. And you don't have to be just, you know, uh, I think only classroom won't help. You have to go certain out of the box, think out of the box. And secondly, put your views. Be open to learning and do your constant efforts and really work hard because this will actually help you in a longer run.